Hi ladies, what's up? It's your girl Quita and I'm coming to you to do a little haul. Um, hence, hence the title. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm doing something called the little oops. Um, it's called, it's the oops from Birchbox. For those who don't know what Birchbox is, it's a monthly prescription where you can get beauty items for $10 a month. Um, yeah, they're sample sizes, but you know, some last forever and that way you would know what you get in before you buy. Anywho, two months in a, um, out of the year, I did get a little oops, which means, um, either the shadows were all right broken and, or, um, something were right damaged, like, to the point. I don't complain about one item. It has to be, like, multiple items. And then it's just like, okay, it's ridiculous. But they're really good customer service. They're really good about accommodation, um, saying sorry, you know, even a, a brief sorry about how your things arrived, um, it's comforting. Um, but anywho, so with the, with the... When I got the oops, they gave me some type of points. And I used the points to get an item. Now, I got this little um, trouble case. Brushes. Yeah, it's tiny. I thought it was a lot bigger, so that's why I decided to throw it in this review. So for whoever, you know, want to purchase it online, can I kind of see how it is. But it's still kind of cool because, I mean, if it's small enough to fit in any size purse, as you can see. And when you open it, it opens like this. And mine has not opened in my purse. And I have one of those real junky purses. So mine has not opened in my purse yet. So that's a good thing. So you open it. It has little knobs holding the little um, top on it closed. And I'm going to do it backwards because I'm like touching the head of my brushes. So I'm going to turn it upside down and then I'm going to pull it up. And you see other glass. Isn't that kind of neat? And then you pull it out and you have the eyeliner one. And then you have... I don't know which one is that whatever uh, the concealer one tiny concealer one I guess yeah that's cute little touch-ups a little shallow brush and I guess a little foundation brush for a little touch-up the consistency of them oh my god they're like so soft I really want to go back and get the bigger one but I'm so scared that they're gonna be like kind of just a little bigger than this and then I'm gonna be upset <laughs> But I think as far as travel size, this is the perfect brush. I don't want to have big, stupid brushes. Um, it's kind of hard to navigate at times, but um, I guess you can use like a contour to brush to freshen up your contour. Uh, if you have a little concealer spot, you want to go ahead and conceal it back. I mean, these are perfect. It's, you know, cute. They're clear. Then you have the tops. I mean, they're cute. I just draw one. I'll get it later. Anywho, so that's that. That's my birch box oops <laughs> I got. And then so let's move on. So I went to Sephora, I got some more stuff. Um I fell in love with the like illuminators. And I got the NARS one. I think it was around 60 bucks. Um I typically put it underneath my eye. I don't have any on now. And I just used way too much to show you guys, but it's supposed to go on share. So I'll rub it in so you guys can see it. You see the sheerness of it? So that's that. And I'm going to put it around my eyes or, you know, around my um, cheekbones. Sometimes on my cheekbones. And this is highly pigmented. I usually don't wear blush at all. I wanted to use it in the video to see, you know, just to press it on my face a little bit. And it's, it's a little bit too pigmented for me. Uh, but those who like high pigment pigmented things, um, I will suggest this. And this is from e.l.f. And it's their the liquid um, blush. I mean, it's gorgeous. If you really just love blush. I'm not really a blush girl. It's just something I wanted to try out. And that was the result of it. So, yeah. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is my naked palette. I have to pick up some. Okay. Excuse me, ladies. So, it's my naked palette. And I got this one. Um, they are $49.99 plus tax. So this is it out of the pack. And then you have the little guide in the back as to which one you actually get. Like you see. The different colors and like the labels of it. And they say the name. I think this is the, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It came with it. Uh, how it looks. I think I'm going to keep this out before it ends up drying. 
I don't know how long they can actually stay contained um, without drying out. So that's that. And I'm going to take the packaging out. Um, packaging offhand is suede. And I like that about the palette. It made me feel like my, I got my money's worth. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a thumbnail. <laughs> that makes me feel like I got my money's worth. And it's so detailed. It's suede. Can you see the back? Um, originally, um, this is not the one. So I'll talk about that when I get to the one. But here it is. I don't want to blind you guys, but... I go to colors and if you want me to swap some I will swap some so you can kind of see how I look on my skin tone so we have the virgin oh my god and they're like oh wow look at that so that's virgin you barely don't have to even touch these they're like very pigmented and then I'm doing sand on my skin tone the one next to it is sand. Right here. Sand. And then naked. Oh my god, these are so pretty. Naked. Here. Um. Sides are. Here. Brick. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not that's clearly not brick. <laughs> and it's buck, excuse me. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this on my hand. Okay, so half bake, smudge, dark horse, toasted, hustle, creep. Gum metal, wow, that gum metal is gorgeous. So, and I can go from here. So we have gun metal, and then creep. Wait a minute. Okay, other way around. <laughs> creep gun metal, and then hustle toasted. I just lost count. Okay, so it's Gun Metal Creep, Hustle Toasted, okay, Dark Horse, and Smudge, Half Bake, and then the other one's already named. So, yeah, those are the colors. And that's just me touching the brush like once onto the the pigments. They're not pigments, they're shadows, but they're soft. They're really, really, really soft. And here's the brush that come along with that, the shadow brush. Of course, it's going to have like the, it just put shadow on it. But yeah, that's pretty, they're pretty pigmented. They're pretty soft, so they come like right up. Let's see. So I'm going to close that. So like, then it's the Naked Teal Palette. And it's the same ordeal. Come in a little plastic. Oh, wow. This one is kind of harder. But you have the little what's on the back. I'm not going to swatch these because you can clearly see the colors there. I mean, they're like identical to what it says they are. Um, This one came with the chopstick. You want me to swatch the color? I'll do that. And that's the color of it. And this is the one. I got a little story on this one. It arrived broken. I ordered it. And so what I did, instead of sending it back and going through all the chaos and shipping, handling, and stuff, and maybe receive another one that's broken, um, I repaired it. And if you want me to show you a video how to repair, um, I would definitely do that. But pretty much you just take the pigment, you take it all out the container, you crush it all up until it's real fine. Um, then you pour it back into the container after you mix a little alcohol in it. So you're going to take it out the container, break it all up until it's real fine, take alcohol, put it in there, not a lot, a couple of drops. Stir it in like a little stir and then scoot it all together. 
and this is the one that I had to do that with and plus I had it already have baked in the other one that's another reason I don't like buying multiple palettes because it repeated the half bake and I pretty much get and I think that's it in blackout I believe and outside of that is different colors so this is the, okay it didn't break thank god so this is those it has a little mirror on it too um, same, it got two ended brush instead of the one for blending and then the application of it. Yeah. This one is like a tan can by versus the suede. So, you got a little difference there. So, I mean, I feel like I got my money's worth. And um, last but not least, I keep dropping it so I have to keep going out here and get it. I'm sorry, ladies. Um, I got the Nicki Minaj lipstick um as you see i go bold with my lipsticks and the one i got i wore before so you will see little smudges is that one um it's gorgeous on my skin tone i'm pretty sure it'll be gorgeous on yours too you see that isn't that gorgeous i mean i love it i'll wear it in another video if you guys want me to this one i have on i'll put the link below because I forgot the name of it. It's not a Nikki, but it is from Mac. So yeah, outside of that, you guys make sure you rate, subscribe, and like these videos. Rate. Make sure you subscribe and like my videos. And um, yeah, subscribe, 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 and subscribe again. Okay, little bugs. Thank you for watching.